Okay, so in this question here, we need to find three sets of integers for A, B, C and D that meet this equation. 42A plus 33B plus 70C plus 77D equals 1. Now, if you check in the description, I've solved this using Euclid's algorithm. Today, we're going to use something a little bit different. So, first of all, find three sets. So what we need to do first is to maybe just pair these up because I can see this has a common factor of three this one here has a common factor of seven so if I take the three out of this I will then end up with three times 14a plus 11b plus take seven out of this one seven times 10c plus 11b equals one okay so next stage of this, I'm going to assign this part and this part to A or B. So capital A and capital B. So it's going to be a different value to these Bs. These are lowercase, these are uppercase. So I'm going to write down here now, A equals 14A plus 11B. And then I'll let B equal 10C plus 11D. Okay. So now what I've got is I've got, just write this down here now, 3a plus 7b equals 1. So what I need to do now is find an integers for a and b that this solution will still be 1. So straight away I can see that 7 times 1 is 7 and 2 3s are 6. So the difference there is going to be 1. So what I can do here now is if I let a equal 2, so if I let that equal 2, and uh, let this one equal 1, that will then give us our difference of 1, but what I need is positive 1. So if I let b equal positive 1, and I let this equal negative 2. So now I'm going to write this down here now. So a equals negative 2, and b equals positive 1. Okay, so now what I need to do, I need to do minus 2 for this and plus 1 for this. So now what I'm saying is that 14a plus 11b equals, that should be an 11, 14a plus 11b equals minus 2, and 10c plus 11d equals positive 1. So let's put that in here now. So... 14a plus 11b equals negative 2. Okay, what solution set can I find for that to make this work? Well, as they're dealing with small numbers, you can just play around with this in your head. So what I know is 4 11s are 44, and 3 14s are 42. So the difference between those is 2. So if I let the b equal minus 4, and the a equal positive 2, sorry, positive 3. I will then get one solution set for a equals positive 3 and b equals minus 4. So a equals positive 3 and b equals minus 4. If I plug those into this, so 14 times 3 is 42, minus 11 times minus 4. So that's 11 plus 44, 42 minus 44 is minus 2. So that will work out. Now in that same solution set, I then need to do this for b equals 1. So 10c plus 11d equals 1. So let's do that here. 10c plus 11d equals 1. And that's a positive one. So again, dealing with small numbers, I can see that 11 and 10... The difference between those is 1 anyway. So if I let D equal positive 1, then let C equal negative 1. <clears throat> and that way then I'll get 11 times positive 1 is 11. 10 times minus 1 is minus 10. 11 minus 10 is going to give us positive 1. So then I can let C equal minus 1. D equal <clears throat> positive 1. So that works. 
but then I can write that in here now as one of my solution sets. So A, B, C and D. So my first offering will be A equals 3, B equals minus 4, C equals minus 1 and D equals positive 1. So if I plug that in there, I should get the right answer. So 42 times 3 is 126. 33 times minus 4 is 132. So that's going to give us minus 6. And minus 70 plus 77 is going to give us positive 7. So minus 6 plus 7 gives us 1. So we know that this checks out. Okay, so now we need two more sets of solutions for this. So how are we going to go about that? So the other way we could do it is we can find a different solution set for this. So if I now go here, 3a plus 7b equals 1. Can't change that because this is our set that we've gone with here. But I can find some different integers for a and b. So what am I going to plug in for that? Well, we've got two sevens of 14 and three fives of 15. So that makes a difference of one as well. So here I could let A equal positive five and B equal minus two. That will give us three fives of 15 minus 14. That gives us one. So now what I need to do is <clears throat> let A equal plus five and b equal minus 2. Okay, now let's set this equation here to the second set of solutions. So 14a plus 11b equals positive 5. I need to find a solution set for this. Well, 5 11s are 55 and 4 14s are 56. So that's going to give us a difference of one. So that's not going to work. So three elevens are 33, two fourteens are 28. That gives us a difference of five. That's what we want. So if we let B equal positive three and A equal minus two, that's going to work. So minus two plus three. So let's put up for that here for the second set of solutions. So A equals minus 2, B equals positive 3. And then now we need to solve B for minus 2. So now 10C plus 11D equals minus 2. Okay, so we need something now to make this a difference of 2. Well, I know they're 10 and 11 is a difference of 1. So if I just double both and maybe change around with the sign, that's going to get me a difference of 2. Two 11s are 22 and two tens are 20. So I need the 22 to be minus. So D equals minus two and C equals positive two. That's gonna work in there. So C equals two, D equals minus two. So let's plug that in there. So that's mi minus 84 plus 99. That's gonna give us positive 15. Two seventies are 140. And minus 2 times that is 154, so that's going to give us minus 14. 15 minus 14 gives us 1. So that's the second set of solutions. Okay, now we can find maybe another set of solutions to maybe solve this, or to solve this, or to solve this. We, we could try either way. So I quite like the way here where we can find a different set of this. So what we've got here, we've got a solution here is minus 2, and one here is plus 5. So they've got a difference of 7. So I reckon if we let a equal 12, so let's just write that here, 3a plus 7b equals 1. So if a equals 12, and then from here, we've gone from 1 to minus 2, I reckon we could plug in then a difference of 3, so we could plug in minus 5. So let's see if that works. 3 12s are 36, minus 7 times minus, minus 7 times 5 is 35, it gives us 1. So now we've got A equals 12, and B equals minus 5. 
So you can see the pattern here. There's seven between all of these and three between all of these. And as we've got three A and seven B, that makes kind of sense. Okay, so now we need this set. So we're gonna set this one to 12 and set this one to minus five. So we've got 14A plus 11B equals 12. So I need to find a solution set with 12 of different, is the difference. So, well, as there's three apart, we're going to have to multiply something by four. So four 14s are 56, four 11s are 44. That's going to be a difference of 12. So therefore, A is going to be positive 4, and B can be minus 4. That'd be quite handy. 56 minus 44 gives us 12. So that's another set here. So let's put that in there now. Number 3, A equals positive 4, B equals minus 4. OK, now we set this one to minus 5. 10C plus 11D equals minus five. So we want a difference of five. As there's one apart between the two coefficients, we're going to multiply by five by the looks of it. So 50c and 55d. So we need a minus for the d. So that's minus five and a positive for the c. So it'd be 50c, 50 for c and then 55 there, that gives minus five. So now what we're saying now is that C equals 5 and D equals minus 5. OK, that's an interesting solution set there. Let's give it a go. 42 times 4 is 168. Let's just write this down here. 33 times minus 4, that's minus 132. So that's 36. And I plug in these ones. 70 times 5 is 350. And then 77 times minus 5, that's going to give us minus 385. And that equals minus 35 difference. Hence, we got 1. So, yeah, this solution set gives us our answer. Okay.